Ooh, y'all know if I'm in the bonnet, that means it's time for bed. Ooh, I gotta sit like this because it's kind of like that. But hi guys, <laughs> it is late, late. It is after 12 here, so happy Monday. Um, I kind of want to give you guys a life update on me because really, I know I've been on like a weird wave the last couple of weeks. Um, thank you to the new subscribers that I have. You guys have been awesome. Um, I read you guys' comments. If I heart them, that means I saw them. I would comment every once in a while. Um, I've just kind of been on like a recovery mode right now. I'm trying to get back on an actual sleep schedule because my summer classes start in like less than two weeks. And y'all, I'm ready for them to start. I want to be productive on something. Now, granted, I am learning Spanish online, but you know, my exhaustion level has been really bad. Like, honestly, I slept in for nine hours. I woke up a quarter to 12 today, and I, I didn't start being productive until just now. So, yeah, just the life update for me. Um, the nails have been taken off because, um, well, my finger turned green, y'all. You can't see it from here, but um, it's kind of a little bit green. It's, it's gone down. Um, I filed it down. And put some vapor rub on it. Oop, yeah, I need to put like another coat on. Basically, from what I researched on the internet, basically I put too much glue on my nail and basically water got in from me washing my hands and doing the dishes a lot this week. I put the nails on here like two weeks ago. So that's mainly why, because this ham has been stable while the other one's nails have been falling apart. So I'm going to be treating with vapor rub. Um... I'm not all nervous. This is my first time getting it, so I was easily panicked. So I'm definitely putting it on. Um, it's down, It's gotten down to like a greenish yellow from like the green it was when I first took off the nail. So, you know, I'll update you guys on that. People are saying it takes like months, some say 24 to 48 hours. Oh, if you guys have some home remedies, let me know in the comments. Um, um, update on my, um, me moving. I have an official move-in date now. I'm moving in my new place on August 5th. And I'm moving out here at the end of July. So, yeah, I gotta start... <laughs> I gotta start planning that now. And it really didn't hit me till last month that I'm going to be moving during a whole pandemic. And, oh, Jesus Christ. It's just... And the thing, I literally switched um, rooms in January, and so I'm going to have to pack up again. So, yeah, there's that. And thankfully, the new place I did found is affordable from what I usually pay. Because right now, my... Ooh, my eyes are itchy. <clears throat> right now, the place I'm currently living right now, I'm paying the rent. And the renter's insurance on top of that, because I thought it was a good idea just to put that on top of the rent and not pay the whole thing forward at some point. Um for the year and so i'm saving 21 dollars with the new rent i have for the new place which is a lot for a college student that's gas money that's grocery money that's you know in case you get an overage on your new place so thankfully i have that and i should expect my um deposit from this place in august because you know when you move out you get your deposit back from when you first signed your lease and i've been here for like two years so yeah, that's that on the moving front. Um, School, like I told y'all, summer semester starts June 1st. Graduation, spring 2021. Your girl is on her way out. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I can get involved with a bunch of different places via virtual. Because I did apply to internships for the summer. But due to the current state of the world, they are all on pause and canceled until they're noticed. So... I have to figure out new things. Faithfully, I have an awesome counselor that is helping me throughout the whole thing and getting me and a lot of other students in touch with different people. Um, family, Vic, family wise, the family's doing good. Um, my, um, I had mentioned this in my last video. My aunt's goddaughter had passed away from COVID. She was buried um, on Saturday. And, you know, it's just another hit to on the family unit wise um my uncle by marriage he passed um in march so it's it's a lot but other than that the immediate family's healthy you know right now a lot of us are kind of scattered 
because you know my immediate family my mom my birds my sister and then a couple of my aunts and uncles they're here and then I have my aunt and her four kids in Chicago then I have majority of my family still in DRC and then some of the family up in France and Belgium in between there so right now we're all separated at this point but you know we're keeping in touch uh, my aunt wants to try and change up the family vacation to the Bahamas um even though they have under 100 cases, I don't know if I'm on the okay front to travel. And also, I still have to renew my passport. Um, <laughs> I told myself this year I was going to renew it, y'all. I was supposed to renew that thing in March, okay? I had the funds ready to go. But the state of the world pretty much screwed all that up. March, I was going to renew my passport and fix my car. Finally, okay? Finally, I was going to get my stuff together. But then COVID decided to mess up my plan. So the car, hopefully, um, by the time the second stimulus comes in, I can get the car fixed and renew the passport. So that way I can get back to my extra gigs because they already starting to post new stuff on there. And hopefully I can renew my passport. But the thing is, by the time I get it renewed, it's going to be delayed as hell. But I want to get it renewed by August because I do want to go to um Congo for Christmas to spend time with my family because I haven't been back in like five years and I definitely want to see my grandma on my dad's side because my grandpa did pass away two years ago and it's really just her right now you know thankfully my uncles live close by and um my cousin Amy she lives at the house but the thing is is that it's kind of just her it's just the two of them and then a couple of people, you know, who help around the house. So I do want to go and see her. Um, what else? Hopefully tomorrow I will give you guys the Nelly Luda versus recap, okay? I I was lit on Saturday, y'all. I pre-gained before the live. I was gaming during the live and... My drink put me right to sleep. I'm going to be so honest. My drink put me right to sleep. How much did I have time? Okay, it's been seven minutes. I had to check the time. But I'll have that for you guys tomorrow. I'll also have my insecure discussion up tomorrow, child. We have a lot to talk about from this from tonight's episode. We have a lot to talk about. Um, I'll also have a good bunch of reactions to different videos. I'm definitely reacting to Chloe and Hallie. Also, to a couple of songs that come out within the last month or so, I gotta make sure all that um, is cleared out because Gaga is dropping Chromatica. Um, what day is it? The 18th? Oh, it's my brother and sister's birthday. Um, 18, 19, 20. Is Gaga dropping on 20? Yeah, she's dropping on 29th. She's dropping next Friday. So I have to make sure all my reactions are cleared out. By next Friday, because y'all already know, whenever an album comes out, I dedicate a whole day to them. Hopefully, hopefully, my I can get a reaction video out of this album, because the last two that I did did not want to go up on the drive for me to edit, so pray, fingers crossed, that it works. Um, how are you guys doing in your various states? I know in my state... They're trying to fast track reopen stuff, but you know, honestly, at this point, I'm staying inside until August. Okay, I'm only leaving to pay my bills, do my groceries, uh, run errands, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it that I'm doing. So yeah, this is kind of a late night update I wanted to do. I want to do it ahead of time because you know I'm awake and my phone actually has enough battery. Um, I'm getting my wish stuff this week, so. I'm probably going to wait till like all of my stuff is here to do my haul. Um, I know I have stuff coming in on Friday and then I have another, ship, another shipment coming in next week. And um, I actually caved and got a ring light. I caved and got a ring light, y'all. I really do need one for um, my sit down stuff that I do in the room. So anyway, that's pretty much my little update for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments how you guys um, do to tangle with your hair because I took mine out because I need to wash my hair tomorrow. And let me know what you guys do to detangle and kind of like get your hair controlled. I do cornrows for protective styling. And so I want to be able to wash my hair and detangle it and let it breathe for a little bit before I put it down in the braids again. 
Let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel for you uh, for this month. Okay? This is your girl of the South, my love. Have a great day. Bye.